Subtransit here is a Half-Life map that actually translates pretty decently into Team Fortress Classic. Uh, the map is big, but not so big that, you know, like, you know, some of the slower classes like the Soldier and, like, you know, Heavy Weapons guys suffer. Uh, it's wide open enough, obviously, that the Sniper can, like, you know, do a pretty decent job in some of the areas. You know, Medic's always going to be good just because they're fast and, you know, can poison people. And really, it's, it's a pretty good time. Um, especially once you get the train going, of course, because it's always fun to get yourself killed on that. Uh, I don't know if I would consider it necessarily superior to it, it being in its native game. But yeah, if you're, um, looking for a Half-Life map to, for about 12 to 16 people, even though I'm going to play it with 8 because, you know, that's how I, I, I prefer it in this case. Um, you know, check it out. I mean, this conveyor belt area is, like, you know, kind of a pointless little part. Like, you know, you could try to, you know, hide here, but really a lot of the slower classes are going to have problems, like the heavy weapons guy. Like, you know, moving on these conveyor belts is not a good time. Um, the claymores start out uh, there is normal, I believe. Or I thought there were some claymores here. I could be wrong. Maybe they aren't. No, that might be an uh, entity that's exclusive to Half-Life, so yeah. Those aren't there. I always thought they were. Um... So yeah, that's what I mean though. You got a lot of little areas like, you know, this is wide, snipers can rain here, but you know, you can also build something if you, like if you're playing it like doubles like I am, you know, and you're working with your partner, you can like, you know, try to build tele, like, you know, sentries here to mess with people, even some dispensers, like find some place to hide with like your friends. Um, you know, I can imagine a heavy weapons guy or like one of the bulkier, like, you know, uh, offense class riding this thing being pretty dangerous. You know, you might want to protect this area just because there's a lot of health. Um, you might also want to protect this area if you're up here because, again, health as well. As well as the fact that, you know, you know, you got some good sniping going on here. You know, really this whole area, uh, here and here, these two areas, I would say, are the ones you want to defend the most. Uh, besides that, not too much to say. Grenades aren't as fun Oh, well, wrong button. Grenades aren't as fun here as they are in, like, they were in, like, say, Datacore. Um, and, like, maps like that. But, you know, there's a lot of good, um, overall... It's a good jack-of-all-trades map. Or, sorry, it's a good map, well-balanced in the sense of every class, you know, besides maybe the spy and, or, like, the scout. Well, that's a weird thing to say. Besides maybe the scout, I, I guess you could play spy good, but, you know, I don't... I don't really know because I don't like Spy because I suck as Spy, but let's not talk about Spy. We're going to talk about this map and we're going to play it. Yeah, I've got to do it. Get this on right now. We're going to go. Yeah, this is going to get really intense until I, I stand too high. I think the heavy weapon guy's taller than Gordon Freeman. I have no idea. What do you think you're doing, Engineer? Get off the rails. You're going to die. Did he get? Did he figure it out? I don't know. Well, this is interesting so far. I do believe the heavy weapons guy is slightly taller, though, than, uh, yeah, Gordon Freeman, so I'll have to duck here. Oh, you son of a bitch! So I should mention that, like my most recent set of, uh, Half-Life videos, um, I'm playing this with this, uh, Sega Saturn Shuttle Mouse. I'm trying out a new control scheme where I have the grenades on my, um, the various different, uh, mouse buttons. Um, I don't have, I have th four to work with instead of just two now. I'm going to try to get used to that. I goofed that up there. But yeah, it's good. I like it. Also, I have like the, the secondary function for like the, or like the, not sec, pfft. the class functions are on the right click. So, you know, for like the sniper, that'd be like the scope and stuff like that. All right, this bot, holy shit. Erp is like goddamn like, you know, like prodigy. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Yeah, throwing grenades down into the bottom area here could be pretty fun, especially if you do like this. Because you never know if someone's down there and someone just spawned and they're getting a fistful of grenade right in their freaking face right when they spawn. Sad day for them, not for me. Obviously, if you can try to control that area like I said down here, uh, you'll want to have a really good offense class up here. Especially if you're playing... Uh, my strategies I'm talking about mostly work when you're playing doubles like I do because I'm obsessed with that. Um, 
you know, get someone to, like, you know, try to keep the, like, defend down here. If you could build, like, you know, a sentry, that'd be really cool. I don't know how easy that would be, especially with everything that's going on. Oh. Nice save. But then you obviously get one of your more offensive classes def def defending the front there. Or the main area, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, see, look at the, the heavy weapons guy struggle on this. It's just absolutely absurd how slow you go. What are you doing? Wow! What was that nonsense? That's why you duck, my friend. Or else you get a fistful of train up your dick. Yeah, see, this built into my, like, like sentry idea earlier, because you got a nice little escape here if things are starting to get a little hairy. Or a nice way to sneak up on someone if they tried to, like, hold that area too much. The possibilities are endless. Until they're not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! This might be a good place to build a dispenser. I completely forgot about this. Because look at that, you got a little health kit. Get someone to, like, you know, try to, you know, protect you while you're building here. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe even a sentry. Hell, hell, maybe even a teleporter. People would keep them guessing. You know, I was just uh, realized uh, I forgot to show off Dario Casali's signature and subtransit here. What the hell is this room? The what is this? It's like a teleporter? I've never seen this room before in my life. It's just here and there's a d like lights that are oddly textured and... I'm scared. I'm gonna go find the, the signature because I've I feel like I've just revealed something that like the world wasn't meant to know and now I'm gonna get hunted down and I'm probably gonna get diddled real hard. What is is this the signature here? What what's going on? What's this room? It's just a black box. I, I'm I'm scared guys. I, I'm I'm genuinely getting scared. There's a sig signature, but I I don't wanna spend any more time in this map than I need to because there's just weird things going on here. Oh, 